country. Right, when we did uh, the giveaway bat night at Yankee Stadium. Remember that? <laughs> the first thousand people at the Yankee Stadium got free bats <laughs> one night. That didn't work out. Giving away a thousand free bats to people in the South Bronx. On it. <laughs> Tonight is Blood Force Trauma Night. Bring the kids. <laughs> no, that's not true. It is true. I... Uh, <laughs> I, I've never played American football, I didn't play it where I grew up, but, but we did play a game called rugby, which is, uh, which is equally violent without the protection, basically. <laughs> Very violent game. After the game, you, you drink beer out of the, the losing captain's skull. <laughs> it's just a thing. Rugby, it's a very rough game, rugby. Uh, it started when some kids at a school called rugby in England, they were playing soccer, and a fight broke out, and someone gets so you know, ticked off, they, they picked up the ball and they ran across to the goal line and put it down. And the other kids were so angry that they beat up the kid that picked up the ball. And somebody watching this went, hmm, fighting and running with a ball. We'll call it rugby. <laughs> but there's two types of rugby that, that I know of anyway. There's rugby union, which I played, and rugby league. Right now, in rugby union, um, they have, well, you, when you get tackled, you know, they, they run up to you. You run with the ball, they oppose you, he comes up, tackles you, by it round the legs. You run, you don't run like that. You run like that. <laughs> and they grab you around the legs, ah, and you put you down. But you're allowed to push the opposing to, you, you, you're allowed to palm them off, it's called. It's like, talk to the hand, you bastard. <laughs> you run with them, <laughs> Sometimes guys do it, even when they don't have the ball, they just run up, <laughs> And if you get tackled and the ball is stopped in Rugby Union, they have what they call a scrum to get the ball into play again. And, and it's, everybody gets down and kind of, ah, it's just, it's like, um, it's like a hug of death. It's like every, <laughs> big group hug of death. Just everyone in like that. And that's, that's in Rugby Union. In Rugby League, they took that out because it slowed the game down. So they put in what they call the uh, back heel. So you get tackled, but instead of the scrum, to get the ball going again, someone who the person who's been tackled puts the ball behind their heel and then kicks it like that. <laughs> it's a very sissy move in an otherwise violent sport, isn't it? You, you put the ball down and you go, and you can tell, you can tell the guys are embarrassed when they're doing it. Like, I, I like it, this game, it's fast. Oh no, I got to hold on. It's nasty. I, very physical tonight, aren't I? I'm jumping about. I'm feeling very frisky. <laughs> you know, I'll never sleep. I won't sleep tonight. Call me. Call me, because I'll be up. <laughs> I was actually captain of my school's rugby team for about ten minutes. Well, you know, one game. I, I, uh, I joined the rugby team because I thought, because I grew up in quite a violent neighbourhood, and I thought, I'll get into the sports to avoid the violence of the neighbourhood. Because there was a good, a good chance that you would get involved in violence if you were, you know, out in the streets. But it was definite if you were in the rugby team. You could definitely get... So that's why I quit. You know, you could set your watch by it. 3 o'clock, kick off, 3.15, get my head kicked in. That's what happened. <laughs> but I was... The game where I was captain... <laughs> the game of shame. When I was captain. Because it was the only time I've ever cried in sports. I was in a... Was, it happened, I, I'll tell you what happened. I was in a scrum, right? We're in a car, and you know, and it's all you know, kids, 15, 16, acne, bad skin, and everyone pushing against each other. And I got a really bad knock in the head, and and I got a, a concussion. And one of the the type of concussion I had, I don't know what it is, I, but one of the symptoms is uncontrollable sobbing. <laughs> so I felt okay, but I'm like. <laughs> And the coach comes on the field, he says, are you okay? I went, I'm fine, I just can't stop crying. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can play, I can play, sir. They're like, no, 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 please, come on, I'm good. I'm good, this is wrong. <laughs> and then, so, the, you know, they put me in the ambulance, uh, well, the teacher's high on day, and they take me, to the, uh, take me to the hospital, and the doctor said, no, it's concussion. Uh, and this is a symptom of what you've got, this head injury. And you'll, it'll stop eventually. But I cried for about eight hours. <laughs> I know, I had to keep it on tapes of Terms of Endearment or Beaches or something. <laughs> so I, I felt right. 
But anyway, there was no permanent damage, thank goodness. <laughs> did I tell you I used to play rugby? Yeah, yeah, I did. Anyway, uh, at the Rose Bowl last night, the uh, Texas quarterback, Vince Young, uh, well, that was an amazing performance. Uh, I don't think he'll be going back to college next year. I don't think it's going to, come on, it's not, you know what's going to happen. Yeah, I'm looking forward to next year. That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to next year at college. He didn't say that. <laughs> looking forward to next I'll bet you're looking forward to next year. 20 million bucks is my guess to go pro. But I would say to you, Vince, come on now, without an education, without a college degree, it's hard to make a living. Think about it. <laughs> Think about it. I will say this, though, uh, about the game. I watched the game last night, I, and, and both teams, I think, were sensational. There wasn't a cynical moment in that game. And it was great to see that parting without the, the violence. The, the USC supporters, um, you were full, the guys that I saw last night, full of beer, but behaved beautifully. Thank you. Texas people in California, you make wonderful guests. Now, go home. Oh, my pants. <laughs>